Good morning. It's Thursday. It's Thursday. The gym was freezing, so now I'm frozen. Uh, I was just starting to thaw out in the car, and then we got home. And now you're cold again. <laughs> now I'm cold again. Yes. So that's all right. How was your workout? Uh, workout was good. Yeah. Today was chest and biceps. Mm -hmm. um, I did not get the ca um, abs. No. No. Um, well, you know, as you know, it was very cold in the gym today, so we decided to uh, finish up and go. Yeah. I did not have a good workout. I did arms today, but uh, I was I was freezing, so that didn't do me any favors. I did have something funny happen, though. I had walked out of the main weight room area, and yay, hearts, those are fun. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> um, I walked out of the main weight room area and then walked um, it was going to another to the stretching room and a woman that I see there regularly But I've never actually talked to like we just smile and say good morning stop me and she said Oh, I have something for you. And I was like What like I don't even know you you have something for me and um, Good morning Esther morning um, Esther. and I first I don't know my brain was like, oh, no, what is she selling? But then she she just said she just said no you look and she set something down she had bought shirts, workout shirts, and they didn't fit her. And so she said, you're the smallest person I know, so I thought you could use them. <laughs> How nice is that? That's incredible. Like, that's so cool. So the universe gave me workout shirts. Yeah. So that's fun. That's awesome. That's a fun thing to have happen. Yeah. Um, but that has nothing to do with... Uh, did you say what you did today at the gym? I did arms a little oh, bit. Not very effectively because <laughs> I was cold. <laughs> um, but I want to talk about protein today because that's one of the big questions that people ask when yeah. we say that we're whole food plant-based. And they say, you don't eat any animal products? And we say no. And they say, where do you get protein? So I wanted to talk a little bit about that. Um, obviously, the, the class I just finished, if you saw my post, I finished my classes. Yay me. So I'm certified in plant-based nutrition now. And so there's a whole big, and I can post the article, there's a big article about protein and too much protein. But the first thing to realize is that the protein numbers that are generally how much protein you need are actually higher than they need to be. Good morning. More hearts. Yay. Good morning. <laughs> um, so when, if you Google how much protein does a woman need, the number it gives you is actually probably higher than what you probably right. really need. Right. So um, there's studies that show that even endurance athletes only need about 10% protein. And that average people, like, you know, us, Right. need like five to eight percent of our calories to come from protein we've talked to you a lot about carbs and that most of our calories 80 plus percent should be from um, whole food carbohydrates right. and I'm not talking about Wonder Bread and Twinkies no. I'm talking about potatoes and rice and right. sweet potatoes and grains and yams and all, good all those yummy things right. um, but we only need eight to us uh, five to eight percent of our calories to come from protein most Foods, most starchy foods like rice and potatoes have about 8 to 10 percent our protein. Right. Grains are higher. Beans are higher. So if you're eating enough calories to maintain or, you know, keep your weight at a, if you're losing weight, then, you know, that's fine. But if you're eating enough calories to not be in a deprived state, you're going to get enough protein. That's a, it's a non-issue. Is, which is eating a lot of calories. I mean, on days that, that we're not fasting today, we're fasting. But on days we're not fasting, I feel like I'm eating half the day. And even when we, we were um, you know, losing weight, we were still eating a ton. Yes. And that's the thing about carbohydrates. We've said this to you before, is they don't get stored as fat. If you right. eat too many carbohydrates for use in a day, they get stored as glycogen to use as fuel. Right. Hey, Patricia, it's good to yeah, see you. Um, so, it, but if you eat too much protein, that gets stored, get as, stored fat. as fat. Yeah. Your body tr uh, converts it to fat, and then that's harder to burn. Right. So, you know, these people who are pounding protein, it's actually really hard on your I system. I used to be one of them. I was, yeah, I was, you know? both of us were. I, mean, was I was always you, protein, protein, protein. You're always taught, oh, yeah. you need all this protein. It's not true. Yeah. And... Too much protein is hard for your body to process. Yeah, and your liver too, right? It's hard on your liver, yeah. it's hard on your kidneys, and it leaches calcium from your bones. Right. And I used, so, to, I used to take in, when I was bodybuilding, upwards of 80 to 120 grams of protein a day. That's nuts. That's crazy, right? That's it's like, just unnecessary. So, you know, when, when people say to us, where do you get your protein? Um, from potatoes and rice and grains and 
beans and pretty well, much everything you eat is it, the green leafy vegetables. So the green, yellow, and orange vegetables, not a lot of protein in those. Right. Some, a little bit, but not a lot. Right. But if you're eating your starches, you're doing good. You're going to be fine. What protein. did I have for dinner last night? I had a huge yam, right? I had corn, mm -hmm. I had peas, mm -hmm. and I had broccoli. Peas are a really good source of protein. Yeah. yeah. So if you like peas, add those to everything. Yes. Yeah, eat them cold, eat them hot, eat them mm -hmm. in soup. And I couldn't finish it. No. I couldn't finish it. It was just too much. Even food. knowing today was fasting day. Even knowing today was fasting day. I, I had to put it back in the fridge. I was like, I can't finish it. Yeah. So you may be wondering, okay, so you're telling me 5 to 8% of my, my caloric intake should come from calories. So, and I've told you that calories is a completely made up thing. Right. It's the, the amount of energy required to heat a gram of water one degree Celsius. Your body can't count that. But right. anyway, if you want to calculate kind of what that percentage is for you, um, figure out your BMI and then figure out your BMR, which is your basal metabolic rate plus, and I can give you all these calculations and it's plus what your activity level is. And then that'll give you a rough estimate of how many calories you need. I calculated mine. My basal metabolic rate, I think was 1300. Right. And that's based on like my age, my weight and the fact that I'm female. Um, the one thing it doesn't do is take into consideration that I do lift weights, so I do have more muscle than most women my age, so it doesn't count that. But then you get to add um, how active are you, from sedentary all the way to, like, ridiculous uh, right. athlete. Right, triathlete or something. And so you take your the number, and I'll, I'll post these the numbers so you guys can see them. I'll post them on the R&R &R Journey page. Um, you take your basal metabolic rate and you multiply it times a multiplier of how active you are, and that gives you total number of calories that you should take in to maintain your current weight. And I think, what did mine come out to, like 23? Uh, mine was 24 something. Yeah, so mine might, mine might have been like 22. Yeah. To be honest with you, I don't care. I don't count calories. That's they don't the matter point. to me. Right. But if you're concerned, oh, I might not be getting enough protein, the way to figure that out is figure out kind of what your estimated calorie intake should be. Right based on your age, your weight, and whether you're male or female, and then calculate what is 5 to 10% of that number, right. and then that's that can give you an idea about how much calories you need. But it's really not that complicated. Yeah. Just eat food. I think I think um, all of them, Dr. Esselstein, Dr. McGregor, Doc, I mean, Dr. McDougall, Dr. Gregor, uh, Dr. Uh, Campbell, Campbell, they all basically say the same thing. If you're eating whole food, plant-based whole food, and you're getting an assortment, you're not like – I'm going to live on spinach only type of person. That won't work. You're going to, you don't have to worry about worrying about how much protein you're going to get. You're going to get enough. Yeah. Because all these things have an average of 8 to 10% protein in them. Mm -hmm. And by eating those calories, you're going to be fine. By eating those, those, those foods. And, and I'm sure you guys, I don't know, maybe you're not seeing them. I see them, and maybe it's just because I'm in this space that I see it. But there's so many um, vegan and whole food bodybuilders and athletes now, mm -hmm. and they are shredded. I mean, they look so good. Like, there was one yesterday somebody sent me, and I was going to post it, but it was a picture of a guy working out um, in, like, spandex and no shirt, and they had oiled him, and I thought it was so sensual that I was like, I don't know if that's appropriate for my age. <laughs> so I didn't post it. Um, oh, so. Or like, like posting pictures of me with my posing trunks on? Yeah, yeah. I did find them, and we're going to show them tonight at um, – at our talk we're giving, I have a picture of him from his work at his days when he was a bodybuilder yeah. and his posing. But it's class. only from the waist up. Yeah, well, still. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a big difference. I mean, it's you know, still cool. But, uh, so, yeah, that, so we're giving a talk tonight. It's going to be at the Christiana Hilton. So if you're around and you want to come, it's 530, I think, is when it starts. I'll post it, um, the information on that on my personal page, so, and right. I'll make it public so you guys can see it. But the bottom line is this. Whole foods have protein in them. They have the right percentage of protein for what right. the human body needs. Right. As long as you're eating whole foods and you're not calorie deficient. Now, if calorie deficient means that you're you know, going on the anorexic space. Right. So as long as you're not calorie deficient, you will get enough protein mm -hmm. from whole foods. And it's just that simple. Yeah. Oh, you're going to be there tonight, Esther. Yay. Hey. It'll be good to see you, awesome. too. Awesome. So, um, and the thing to remember, too, is... Civilization been around for 10 million years, and for 10 million years they've been eating plants. The only people that got to eat the meat were the the kings, and, and they all died. And they all died of heart disease and other problems, and yeah, and all sorts of craziness. Um, so, but yeah, I mean, I've said this to you guys before. In the starch solution, he talks about how all documented successful civilizations, civilizations, thank yeah. you, that's the right word. Civilizations have lived on grains, whether it's barley or rice or quinoa, right? And I've posted Potatoes. that before. Yeah, whatever. So. 
you'll be fine. You'll be it's fine. not an issue. Right. Trust us. I'll tell you my guns, but I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to get into that right now. <laughs> um, and, and if you don't believe me or you don't want to, you don't want to take my word for it, that's fine because I can send you the science. So if you want the science, let me know. I have an article about um, how too much protein is not good for you too. So right. I, can, I can give you that as well. You, you know, you think about it. Like when I was bodybuilding, my off-season weight at five foot six was 220 pounds. It was like a 32-inch waist. Now, now, considering when I competed, my waist was 29 inches, that's still three inches I had to lose. Right. But so I had to go from 220 down to 176, 176 and a quarter. I had to be under that weight to make weight class. And I had 12 weeks. So for 12 weeks, every time I competed, I went through this massive, you know, manipulation of diet and whatnot of, of eating tons of chicken, tons of turkey, tons of fish. And, but I was eating potatoes and I was eating vegetables because that was also very important. But I just think about if I was a whole food plant-based bodybuilder back then, I never would have had to diet. At any moment, I could say, okay, I'll get on stage and I'll compete because right. I'd have been in shape. Right. I mean, you know, my abs right now are like a washboard. I know. And He's so, got great abs, guys. It's, a, it's incredible. <laughs> so that's what we want to talk about with, with protein is you don't have to worry about it. It is the number one concern that, that omnivores, which is what meat eaters are, omnivores, ask us when we say we're whole food plant-based is where do you get your protein? Everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> Everything exactly. we eat has protein in it. So it's a not it's a non issue. So if you wanna if you wanna start this, if you're ready to say, you know what, my health journey is not going where I want it to go, start adding some of the protein bases that are for plants. Right. You know, potatoes, rice, grains, any of that stuff at any time. You can eat any of it at, for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Right. And eat it first. Yes. Eat them first. Before you eat the, the uh, animal products. We had somebody at the gym say that he's going to start trying to do one meal a week. That's, right. where, that's where he's going to start. That's he a and starting place. And I'm ecstatic. For yeah, him. that's a starting place. So One turns into two. I mean, we started with about, what, 75%? And we kept moving up, moving up to where now we're just about there. We're right? probably 90, 98%, maybe yeah. a little better. Yes. So A little bit of butter I put on my popcorn is <laughs> the only thing that, that's keeping me from going 100%. Right, yeah. And me and my, my salad dressing, which... Some of it has animal products, and some of it's just the oil, the which oil. still for me is a, right. you know, demerit. Yeah. But that's what pick we got. something. That's what we have. That's yeah. what I wanted to share. Protein, yeah. non-issue. If you're not calorie deficient, you're going to be fine. Right. And again, we'll say again that if you're in Delaware this evening, what time does it start? 5.30. 5.30. We'll be at the Christiana Hilton uh, giving our whole food plant-based diet talk. We're, yeah, we're going to talk about our journey and right. share some tips and right, that right. kind of thing. Um, so if you're getting value out of these, please do like and share. We do love seeing the little hearts and the, yes. and the, the thumbs up and stuff. And um, I know that people appreciate it when you share good value. So right. if you're getting value, please do share it. Exactly. And with that, we will say eat real food. Not too much. Mostly, Mostly plants. plants. Have a great day, we'll guys. We'll see you either tonight or tomorrow. Yep, exactly.